Hello everyone, how are you? So this episode today, I'm going to talk about uh, air tickets. I have written some notes on the paper to remind myself some important information to you guys. Um, well, when I talk about uh, when I'm talking about uh, um, air tickets, I'm going to divide it into two parts. Number one, international part. The other one, definitely domestic flight in China. So um, also another thing that is I want to mention to you because um, most of my customers that I deal with every single year, 90% of them are from United States or America, uh, North American countries. So maybe my samples will be covering more uh, related with the American customers, but definitely those information would helpful and also work good on people from the worldwide. And uh, talking about international air tickets, I know for most of you, when you book the tickets, two major cities you are going to land in, Beijing or Shanghai. Um, other cities, uh, like uh, if you fly in through Hong Kong or Guangzhou, well, I know it's lower uh, percentage because, you know, two major cities for to start a trip, about almost 95% of them. So that's also the reason why. Later when I'm talking more about air tickets, I'm going to talk more about uh, Beijing and Shanghai. So uh, when you go to purchase the uh, international air tickets, usually you buy it either from uh, uh, the travel agency because you purchase like a tour group, right? The whole package thing. Um, the second, uh, of course, you can book it through uh, uh, airline uh, by yourself or a ticket agent by yourself, right? Anyhow, something about uh, air ticket fee, of course, it could be flowing up and lower during the busy season time or the holiday time in China. Um, and of course, usually the trial group, when they sell the uh, air ticket to you, they usually can get, get a, a decent price for you guys because they sign up with the, um, uh, you know, the contract with the, uh, the airline companies. So anyhow, even for you guys to book the air ticket by yourself, my own experience to purchase either from United Airlines, American Airlines, Continental or Delta, I all can I all purchase a price before like about one thousand US dollar for round trip tickets. Um, also talking about what is the best time for you to come to visit China: springtime and autumn time. Springtime from uh, April to the early June. Um, autumn time like September, October. But definitely those months, uh, the air fee will be higher than normal times. Um, summertime, I know many families like you have kids going to school and only like summertime, summer holiday they have time to come here but it's truly not a very decent time for to come here because it's really really hot and really humid. So um, anyway, just some uh, small information about that. Uh, either you purchase ticket from the air company yourself or you purchase the air ticket from the travel agency right after you get your ticket, please uh, write down the ticket number, take it with you during the trip, and also please write down the person, the agent, whomever you purchase purchase from. Because uh, you want somebody to stand behind the whole thing. You want to feel safe, especially the last day when you come back to your country, anything happening, you know, you never know. Uh, that is just a safe way. Another smart way to do, please also, uh, as soon as possible, get your seat assignment. Make sure you have your seat assigned, your, your even the uh, uh, seat information that will be more secure for you. Why I say like that? Because I have so many experience about that with Viking when I was working for Viking Recruits. A sample for you, like last year, um, the travel agent helped people to purchase from Air Canada. I don't know whether this is a problem from the uh, Viking Recruits or is a problem from the uh, Air Canada. Anyhow, they block for people, for the seats, for the tickets. But uh, some reason the money been not wired, not paid. So uh, the last day when we send the people to the air company, they say, sorry, your, your seat not being truly booked or something like that. And then the passengers will be put on the standby list. If you're lucky enough, okay, you can get on the uh, get on the plane. If not, you know something happened, and this is also none of us would like to see that, right? So that's the reason why when I take my group, I always call the air company, no matter United, Continental, Air Canada, British Airway, to make sure my people's tickets being confirmed. Although I know in your minds, I've never done that before, but you know, it just want to be want to be secure. 
So get seat assignment is very important. Um, and uh, something about uh, domestic flights. Domestic flights in China are going to take for major three air companies uh, you are going to fly with, like Air China, uh, China Eastern Airline, or China Southern Airline. I'm going to give more detailed information for those websites link down below later on. You can check by yourself. So if you buy those airline tickets from overseas, from outside the country, you truly need to do the reconfirmation for, uh, uh, for your air ticket, especially if you fly in with like Air China and fly out with Air China. So you need to call them to reconfirm your tickets. Uh, or another way, very simple, you give your ticket information uh, to the concierge of the hotel you stay in. They also can help you to make reconfirmation for your uh, air tickets. How about those domestic flights? Domestic flights, mainly you don't need to worry because if you are traveling with a uh, tour group, you know, they usually will get your tickets right after you land in. So uh, it's no problem for that. Um, this is something about uh, the domestic flight in China, a little bit different, huh? Something about the mileage declaration. Um, a lot of uh, China air companies right now work together or cooperate together with uh, foreign uh, airlines, you know, like Star License or something like that. So definitely you can declare your mileage. Um, it's not truly, it's not truly much, seriously. But anyhow, if you want to declare it, after you take the flight within a month, you come back to your country, uh, contact with your air company and try to add them. How to do it? Very easy to keep, maintain your boarding pass because on your boarding pass, they definitely print out your ticket information. So that is detailed enough for you to declare for your knowledge. Um, well, those are the basic information about uh, uh, the air ticket thing. Another thing about uh, the time to land in. According to my experience, for instance, like you fly into Beijing uh, with some American Airlines. Um, one thing I want you to know is from last year, Delta Airlines started to just allow people to check in one piece of check-in suitcase. But other air companies such as Continental, American, uh, and United Airlines, they still allow people to check in two pieces. That's one different. Second different, Delta Airlines. American Airlines, they all have the lights, flights to land in Beijing at midnight, very late. So that means if you book those flights and you are going to start your trip right after the second day, definitely you have not enough time to take a rest. Uh, so if you are flying with those flights, I highly recommend you to come into China and land in one day ahead, one day before your trip. So give you enough time, energy to adjust back your, you know, uh, jet lag and MG bag to enjoy the trip better, right? And uh, uh, United Airlines and Continental Airlines, honestly, they have more choices to land in Beijing like in the afternoon uh, after 12 o'clock, something like that, to 12, like 12 p.m. to about uh, uh, 7 p.m., something like that. So better time, um, you know, arrangement for you. Um, so check about the, the flight detail information and also check about arrival time. And then to think about whether you need one day ahead to uh, start your trip. Anyhow, those are about uh, the air uh, ticket information. Um, well, if you have any questions, uh, welcome to leave it in the comment. I'll try to respond them as soon as possible and also uh, help you guys out. And also I have my blog information down below. If you want to check more travel tips, travel advice in China, in Asia, you're welcome to come to visit my blog. Thank you so much and thank you for watching.